2023 high-end monitors. Trash! Okay, maybe they're not that bad, but compared to Samsung and LG's flagship TVs, they certainly leave much to be desired if you're okay dealing with a TV as a monitor. But what if I told you about a new technology so great that it would cure our collective ED? I mean, it would make even the brightest and best flagship TVs like the S95C and the LG G3 look bad in comparison. Well, it's true. A new OLED technology is coming and it's on a whole new level. Now, this new technology is called FOLED or phosphorescent OLED. Try and say that three times. And it's a massive upgrade over our current technology. But unlike micro LED, it should be coming to reasonably sized TVs and monitors much much sooner. Now, to understand why I'm pitching the world's largest tent over FOLED, we first have to understand the issues with a regular OLED and how this new tech will solve it and save your marriage. So the big issue with OLED right now, as perfectly shown by Digital Trends, which I will have their full article on FOLED linked in the description, is that OLED technology based on fluorescent light actually turns around 75% of the electric current supplied into wasted heat rather than light. Now, this is a big issue for two reasons. One, to get brighter screens, more current will have to be applied, creating more heat. Two, using more voltage not only increases power draw, but also the increase in heat can increase the risk of burn-in. Thankfully, at least in theory, FOLED can completely solve this issue. So according to digital trends, FOLED emitters can actually turn nearly 100% of the supplied current directly into light, which has four major benefits. One, in theory, this means far less voltage needs to be applied, leading to lower power draw. Two, the major decrease in voltage and heat should significantly reduce the risk of burning. Three, in theory, at the same voltage, it may be possible to reach up to four times the brightness at that same voltage. And then four, less risk of burning and lower heat means that we can create more pixel dense displays, i.e. 8K OLED TVs and 4K 32 inch bright OLED monitors. Now, four times brightness may not be achievable or even desirable if it means you will still have to worry about burning. But let's say we cut the voltage nearly in half and we increase the brightness by around 50%. This is a scenario which is far more likely, and in the case of a flagship display like the S95C, this means we could be talking around 450 nits of full screen brightness and around 3000 nits of peak brightness. And someday we may be able to reach around 600 nits of full screen brightness on OLED with far less risk of burning, which would make mini LED completely irrelevant. Now, the reason why I use the S95C as an example is because currently Samsung uses a blue fluorescent light as their main light source on their Quantum Dot OLED Generation 2 panels. Well, that's great because the major breakthrough is that recently researchers finally were able to create the last color of FOLED blue. So in theory, Samsung could, with just a few changes, swap their displays right over to this new technology and immediately benefit from the huge girthy benefits it has to offer. Plus, since it shouldn't be as difficult for Samsung to swap to this new tech, and I believe it's actually entering trial production as we speak, but don't quote me on that, that could definitely be wrong. Samsung could have this tech out by 2025, or if they really rush, potentially as early as next year, 2024. So there is a possible multiverse timeline where we could be getting 32 inch 4K 144 Hertz to 240 Hertz glossy faux LED Samsung monitors with potentially up to 2000 nits of peak brightness. And God, I hope that happens soon because that sounds absolutely amazing. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even and supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.